get us kicked off this evening, there's this curriculum, notice I said curriculum, not program, and it's called what? Pathways. Pathways. So in the pursuit and the passion of Pathways this evening, Virginia is going to give us an update. And some updates were recently made to Pathways that are very helpful because she shared some with me already and I'm like, wow, that was easy peasy. Why did I have to make it so complicated? So Virginia's, Virginia's going to show us how to change and how to access your path, print your evaluation form, and remind you of a few other items. Pathways update, pathways update. Please help me welcome Virginia Bossom. Thank goodness you're all familiar with Pathways since I've given so many presentations in the past. This time I want to tell you about some great updates. So what were some of the things that frustrated us when we first started Pathways? Well, I know there were people who contacted me because after they researched and picked their path, they couldn't figure out how to get back into it the next time they got into the website. Or they struggled getting back into it. Guess what? Pathways Toastmasters. Oh, it's not good. How is that? It's going to sing instead. Roger, would you mind assisting? Is that Ron Harden? Is that Ron Harden? Here's a space bar, Roger. All right. So when you start into, in Pathways and you've already selected your path, and you go away, and three weeks later, you want to get to your path, and you go, oh my goodness, I know there was this convoluted way. It's changed. It's easy peasy. You sign into Toastmasters, and then they always say, welcome, and your first name. Click on that. Roger. And this opens up. Whoa. I know. Whoa. You can find <laughs> your path and immediately go to your transcript, bada bing, bada boom, but you can find other things. Wow, did I submit that CC or did I lose it somewhere in my boxes of pathways information? I can click on that and I can look and see that I submitted a CC for top, or I submitted a CL, or I submitted a level one. You can go all the way back to your very, very first CC. Okay? You can see your membership. When did I start in top? I can look that up. You can look at your orders. You can look at all the offices that you held. Now, why do you think that's important? Because some things require you having been president of a club for a full year. So these are all your information. And then, of course, if you've finished your path and you want to buy another one, you can click on that. Now, wasn't that easy? Thank you, Toastmasters, for listening to us. It was way too hard. Okay, right? Now, the other thing that you can do when you were in there is there was a gear. We could back up and show them the gear. Sorry. It's the base camp. Oh. Well, never mind. Just, it works now? Yeah. Oh, we fixed it. Can you come to work? Okay, so when you get in to your path, when, you, when I clicked and said go to my paths, this is what opened. I'm in two paths, innovative planning and presentation mastery. But, and so I can just click on open the curriculum and it picks me right up where I left off, right? I can show you that screen. I also see way up in the right hand corner, there's a teeny tiny picture of me, and next to it, there's a funny looking circle. It looks kind of like a gear. If you click on that, you can register the roles you fill. So, this is what happens when I click on my curriculum. All right? I'm in my path, and that's where I left off. Okay? Because I decided it was confusing doing two paths at the same time, so I took a break from this one, and I'm on level three in my other path. All right. And when I clicked on the gear, 
it brought me to my account. This is where I can put when I was an odd counter, when I was a general evaluator, grammarian, toastmaster, on and on and on. You might say, Virginia, we don't have a CL manual anymore, so what do I have to fill this stuff out for? I mean, it's not like I'm going to give it to Val and I'm going to get an award for it. No, but when you get to level three, if you have not filled out when you were a topics master, a toastmaster, and an evaluator, you cannot get in level four. Now they don't tell us that in level one. It's a well-known secret. So I'm telling you now, if you have done any of these roles, and I know we don't have all these roles here at top, we do have speech evaluator, but if you're in another club, make sure to log those so that when you are finished with level three, you don't have to go back and look up those dates, okay? And again, this is the structure of pathways. We've been through it before. Level one <coughs> is exactly the same in every single solitary path. Level two, it will either focus on leadership or communication, and a couple of paths focus on both. You learn your style, and then you give a speech on how that's going to help you in your life. And then you give another speech, and then you do Toastmasters mentoring. You talk about not, you don't explain what the mentoring program is. That's for the audience to do when they get into that. You explain what it was like to be a protege. And so, like for me, I went back to the beginning of my career and what it was like and what, how people helped me. All right, and then level three is when you start getting into the electives. It's kind of like freshman year in college, everybody's taking intro to this, intro to that, and intro to the other thing. And then when you move ahead, you have all these electives in your major. Well, that's what happens in pathways. You have electives in your path when you for level three, four, and five. And there's a whole list of them. We can go through that another time. And another thing that I keep getting asked is, when I finish a level, how do I open up the next level if I've completed it? So for instance, if you were in level one, you want to do level, level one completion. So what you're going to do is at the bottom of your screen, there's a button that is not that big. It's a small button. It says mark complete. You need to click on that. When you click on that, you will see level one status pending completion approval. That means that Toastmasters has accepted that and it has pushed it to your club President, Vice President of Education, and Secretary, who are the base camp managers, so one of them can promote you to the next level, all right? It does not submit it to Club Central, so you don't have to worry that <coughs> it's already going to be used if it's the wrong time of the year and you don't have something to go with it. Okay, is that clear as mud? And then what's going to happen is the next time you go in, you'll see that it's completed, you can open up a certificate, which is signed by Lark Doli. So that's way better than a ribbon. And then you can open up the next level. Okay, so you have to do that in every level. You have to su submit your completion. Something that they did within our own club website, the Free Toast Host, again, people kept saying, I can't get to my evaluation form. Where are they hiding the evaluation forms? And they'd have to go back in their path or they'd have to go find the place where all the evaluation forms are. Now, when you sign up, which we would love for you to sign up in advance, what you're going to speak on, if you're in pathways and you pick your level, then you've got your evaluation form. All you have to do is click right there. And guess what? If you're the person printing the agendas, you can do that. You can fake it out. You can, if someone says, I'm in the blah, blah, blah path, 
and it's level four and it's this project, you can go in, take an open slot, pretend like you're signing up, get it, click it, print it, and then X out of it and clear it. All right, so that's nice to know because I, was, I tried that out. I thought, well, what if somebody else needs a form? How can I do it? You also, if you forgot what the, the purpose of the project was, you can open up the project description, all right? And again, if you're ever curious about level one, we have a handout and we can put it on our club website or we may already have it on our club website that breaks down level one. It would be great for our information packets because level one is exactly the same in all the paths. And that is it. Yes, we have time for questions, I think. Quick. Uh, okay, because I have two questions. Two questions. Yes. First one is uh, when you mention the functions, right? So enter the function, the, the function that you performed in the meeting. Yes. The toastmaster or this or that. Right. So, and the date. Oh, yes, I understand. Okay. okay, so are there also equivalents like there used to be in the uh, CL. the CL manual, the competent yes. leadership manual? There were equivalents for that. So no, you could, you, no, no, it's not like the CL manual. It's very specific. They okay, so for some of us that are not in other clubs, we have to go to another club That's to be exactly right. Okay, thank you. The other we question. Should, we, we can that. We'll have it here once in a while. Okay. The, the other the question is, um, when you say submitted for approval, you know, you click on the mm -hmm. small little bar, submitted for approval. So does that mean if, you know, sometimes um, we have to hold things back or, you know, we're trying to work things out for our points for the club? Yes. So does that mean that the vice president of education, president secretary, they have the capability to not send it for approval so they can hold it yes. back? Okay. Just if you are a club officer that is responsible for that, you can promote the person to the next level. It then sits out there waiting to be used. And when you want to apply it for the Distinguished Club Program, then tell them to submit it through Club Central. And then you submit it like we've always submitted okay. reports. But it's, just, it's out there. I've got a level one that's been sitting out there for over a year. Oh, okay. Anybody else? Joanne? I don't know what a topics master is. Table is topics. Oh, it's table topics. Yes, yes the person who is, makes up the questions is the topics <laughs> master. Or it's an extemporaneous educator. Yes, that's yes. Right. Mary? You can make it up out of your head, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so the, um, the notification to President VPE and Secretary mm -hmm. from Pathways, do they get an email? They do. It goes to the email that the club has registered with Toastmasters International. So what I suggest is that once you click <coughs> that, send a text or a quick email to the president, VPE, and secretary and say, could somebody promote me to level two, three, four, whatever level they're on? Just so give them a heads up. Because they may not be checking that email all the time. And you will get a, an email when it's approved as well. To the email address you have registered in Toastmasters International. Who registers that email? When you became a member, you gave Toastmasters oh, International an email. Okay. She's saying that because some people have corporate accounts. Some they people have. Accounts, so they have multiple emails. Yes. yes. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. No? All right. Well, Mr. Toastmaster.